this was actually a Facebook post and now it's a video. Hi guys. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how to start this actually. Mostly because I'm kind of in a really weird place in my emotions with this. Um, last year, 2014, was a not so nice year to me. It made me realize things about myself that I didn't really want to realize. <laughs> this video is about this year and more importantly it's about something that happened tonight that opened my mind up to some things. I'm making this video as something that I want to share with the world. B, I'm making it as a reminder to myself about this year. Something that I can look back on later when I'm upset or something or feeling kind of defeated. Um, so basically, what happened is, since I don't sleep, I have a lot of time at night to think. And because of that, I will do random things. <laughs> Tonight, I made recipes. I practice some songs and music for my audition for something really important. I recorded some other songs just to record them. I even danced a little bit, which... <laughs> And then when I was trying to get ready for bed, because I thought it's almost four o'clock in the morning, and it is almost four o'clock in the morning, it's like 3.50, um, I thought I could just get into bed and I would wind up starting to get tired or whatever and want to go to sleep. So I thought, well, I'll just scroll through YouTube and, you know, kind of just see what's all up on the internet. For some reason, the last few weeks, well, last couple of months, something has been on my mind that I haven't been able to shake, and it's this unsettling fear of letting my life go to waste. And as I'm sitting here talking to a camera right now, hoping people are watching this video, in my head I'm thinking to myself, oh, what am I really doing this for? And I've already told you what I'm doing it for. The thing about it is this. I'm a very self-conscious person about a lot of things, more than just my body. I'm self-conscious about the way I treat people, <laughs> you know, and yeah, I don't know, there's just a lot. But anyway, that's beside the point. The point is, what's been on my mind is this unsettling fear of you need to do something different with your life. It's like this little voice has been in my head telling me, you know, you keep saying you're gonna do stuff with YouTube and you don't do it, or you try this and one thing goes wrong with it and you don't do it. There's a lot of don'ts that made up my year last year. There's a lot of do's that made up my year. But one thing that didn't was and I think this is the thing that sticks out the most, is me being a giving person. And that sounds really cheesy, but here's why. On JCPenney's YouTube channel, there was a video that I saw, and it was a holiday video. They did, they had people from their company go and walk random people around their store, a store somewhere, and have those random people find other random people to give a gift to and that's what it was about it was about giving and making people's days better and the, one of the ladies in the video got a couch they bought her a couch it's things like that and those kind of videos make me tear up you just would not believe how much it's the fact that they did these things through the goodness of themselves and that's what you see. I 
<laughs> promised myself that this year would be a year of change and a year of growth for me as a person and in other areas of my life. I want to sing. I want to do all these things. But more importantly, I want to help other people and give to other people and surround myself with good things and good vibes and all that. I quit watching the news because it's not just depressing and terrifying, it's sad. We live in a world today where there is so much fear around everything you do. Walking out of your house can get you killed. We live in a world full of fear, hatred, judgment, racism, everything you can think of possible and it's tearing the world apart. I can't watch the news because it's so negative. I've, I remember watching the news a few times last year and seeing good things and it's like progressively it's only gotten worse and worse and now we have kids killing kids. Can we just talk about that for a minute? There are teenagers killing people. <laughs> there are 12 year olds killing people. Our entire planet is falling apart and people are so greedy and money hungry they don't even care. And I know there's nothing I can do about that to bring back a life. There's nothing me by myself can do to change any of that. But I think as a whole, it can be done. I chose this year to be a year that I would make myself do good for other people. That I would surround myself with nothing but positivity everywhere. You know, positive people, positive things. And I don't ask for anything. I got excited over a Christmas gift that I got from my mom. It was a mixer. It was a stand mixer. And it was the best day of my life because I wanted it really badly. And you know what? I've used that mixer quite a few times. I just made pizza with it. It's just the thing. And then I think about it, and when I think about it, I realized that I got excited over a mixer. There are people that would just be excited to get some of the food that I've made with this mixer. I get people all the time that ask me to make them food. If you f are friends with me on Facebook or you follow me on any other social media, and if you don't, you should, <laughs> then you see there might be a few selfies, a few, not many, and the majority of it's food because I like food, obviously, or I wouldn't be trying to hit up a gym. And I never asked for anything in return. And it took me until tonight to realize that, yeah, I'm giving people food because I want to. I'm doing things for people because I want to. <laughs> and it makes me feel really good. The point is, we live in a really bad place right now. <laughs> the world's just not, it's not something safe. And I think that we shouldn't have to be like that. I think that as people and individuals, we should wanna help everybody and heal everybody from pain and from loss and give to people, not because you want something in return, out of the goodness of your heart. This year is a year of growth and change for me. To be a better person, to be a better me, to do better for myself and for others. I think if anyone's watching this, I want it to be the person that's struggling with these things, the person that's struggling with <laughs> accepting their self as somebody that actually has emotions, first of all. Um, I think it should be being willing to open yourself up to new possibilities 
I'm about to audition for something next month that is terrifying the crap out of me like you would not believe. Every day it's on my mind and it's ripping me apart because I'm so anxious about it because it's, step, it's taking me so far out of my comfort zone. And I'm doing it anyway because I want to. Because I want to follow my dreams. So this year, if you're struggling with something, think lovely thoughts. Be happy. Surround yourself with positive things and good things and get rid of all the negativity in your life. You know, I know people have friends that are negative, but don't let their negativity come in on you and ruin your day. Try to help them do things for them. See what's going on with them. And above all else, if you see somebody struggling with something, Offer a shoulder, a hand, anything to make them feel better. You know, we have kids killing kids, but we have kids killing themselves. And I know I wasn't going to make this a bullying-centered video, and I'm not trying to, but it is an issue in our world today. <laughs> and it's not just for being gay. It's for anything and everything. And you've got kids killing themselves, jumping off of bridges and all this other stuff. It needs to stop. We need to be the people, and this needs to be the year that all of that, all of the negativity, all the bullying, all of the crap in the world comes to a halt. And maybe it'll get better. Maybe it won't. But you won't know until you try. One person can't do it alone. And nobody should have to go through it. Just make this year a good year. I hear people and I see memes on Facebook that are like, 2015, please be good to me. No, you be good to yourself. Do things that are good for yourself. Don't ask the year to be good to you. That's not gonna do anything. Do it yourself. You can do it. I'm trying to. You can too. Make this year something good. Do something good. Give. Open your heart. Be accepting. Help stop bullying. All of that. Be adventurous. Step outside of your comfort zone. Go on adventures. Do whatever you want to. And then, 2015 will be a good year.